Check it out, everybody. Here we are in a massive palace in Un Pulo de Satelito, Brazil. So first things first, big thank you to all of the Romanian subscribers who told us about this Romanian family living in Brazil. And even bigger thank you to I Am Family, the family who is letting us stay with them in this sort of like a villa slash resort. It's a really interesting property. It's really tiny town. Let's uh, first things first tour the property. Quite the bong. Forte, forte, forte bine. Now, could there be any better experience than making a homemade pizza in your own pizza oven right by the pool? Could there be a nicer place to live? And of course, it wouldn't be a Brazilian house without full outdoor kitchen. And of course, the charcoal churrasco. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were meat on that grill coming soon because believe it or not, there's a Romanian community developing in this neighborhood. So last night, Ivana and I were chilling here by the pool as the sun was going down and we were surrounded by Romanian people. We were drinking palinka and we were telling stories of all of our great memories in Romania, all of our road trip stories. And it was one of these travel experiences where I'm like, how did I get so lucky? I'm like, how did this happen? You know, the YouTube comments came in and said, hey, there's this Romanian family living in Brazil. You should reach out to them. And so we emailed Gabriel and Lavinia and they picked us up from the airport. They drove us here to their amazing house and we've been chilling here, soaking up the good vibes, surrounded by Romanian people and good memories. Now, to be clear, this house is actually like a work in progress. So they're under the process of renovating it. But from my experience here, I'm looking at this place and I'm having such a good time. I'm like, no need for renovation. This place is a palace to me. So Ivana and I got our private bedroom, uh, pardon my underpants, but we've got a private bathroom. It's air conditioning, it's amazing. One of these experiences where I'm like overcome with gratitude because imagine just being in this big house and without exaggeration, Gabriel put the fridge full of beer. So we've got the kitchen here. He says, Steve, there's beer in the fridge. You can do your work, have a beer and uh, chill out for a week or so. And so could there be a better place to work? I do my editing, cold beer, jump in the pool. I mean, I really don't have the vocabulary. It's five stars, it's six stars. It's what an incredible experience. And so big thank you to Gabriel and, Lav and Lavinia. Mm -hmm. So maybe today we can go to the beach, first of all. Because not only the pool and the house, but it's beachfront property. Beachfront, baby. And then we can explore the neighborhood, and then we'll yeah. meet Gabriel and Lavinia in the afternoon, and uh, bon let the bon let the good bon. vibes roll. <laughs> Muito bom. Bon. Okay, next stop, let's go to the beach. So not one, but two. Work in progress on the back of the property. I guess these will be like private villas and both of them have a private pool, which is pretty exciting. So you have your own little pool here and then your own unit. Uh, fourth is Bine. Ivana's saying maybe next year when they're ready, we'll make a booking. Yes. And we'll show up and we'll uh, stay in one of these sure. beachfront properties. So to be clear, it's not exactly a private beach by definition but it's so quiet it essentially functions as a private beach i mean what a nice place to relax and enjoy the ocean Now, to be clear, the beach back there doesn't look so beautiful. It doesn't look blue, but it's not because the water is dirty. Rather, it's because it's very shallow. So in terms of the swimming experience, it's very fresh. It's very clean. It's awesome water. And it's sort of nice to swim there because you can walk 50 or 100 meters into the ocean and still be standing up. 
kind of ideal for swimming, although because it's so shallow, you see the sand, it looks brown. A little bit, yeah. So visually not the best, but in my experience, very good. Mucho bong. Mucho bong. Now, we are about to go on an adventure. We really have no idea what to expect. This might be the lamest adventure we've ever been on, or it might be very exciting. Yeah. We're just gonna walk out the front door here and go tour this tiny village. Our idea is to look for lunch, but uh, there might not even be a restaurant around here. Very quiet. I mean, talk about quiet. Uh, dirt road with no buildings on it. So let's go see what we can find, because if there's a Romanian community here, maybe there's a guy selling meat. <gasps> Never give up, you know? Keep your hopes high. Okay, let's go. We're tired. It's H O T. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's got to be a restaurant. They've got all these signs, Mokeka, Asai. I think we did it, Ivana. I think we did it. Where's the bong? Check it out. Not only a restaurant, but a good looking restaurant. That's, that's full house. Very nice. Palmera, una. Quemeron. Asai Moito thirsty. <laughs> Let's see how good that water tastes. Can't open it, I'm so weak. <laughs> Sing. Oh, for me? Sing. You've waited almost one hour for the water, so. <laughs> Best water I ever had. Oh yeah. 45 minute water. <laughs> okay, something new. Oh, my mm. It's good. <laughs> Acai with banana, morango, and kapuasu. Kapuasu. Remember kapuasu? The fruit that looks like cacao? Uh huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it looks so good. I can almost taste it. Mm, it's mm. worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Mm -hmm. Moito bong. Mm. Kapuasu is sour. Good balance with glass. Sweet uh -huh. acai. Oh, yours good. is coming. Really? Mm. Oh, moito bong. Obrigado, obrigado. Oh, it looks like artwork, man. Wow, look at that. This is like a something special. Oh, you got powdered milk. That's my favorite part for acai. Powdered milk. Powdered milk. That's your go-to. That's my go-to. Oh, yeah. Man. So good, no? Oh, my God. This capuazo is like heaven. If I thought discovering acai last year was heaven, this year I'm discovering capuazo with acai. You're right. It's the best. It's like... Paradise. It's the best. It's my new favorite. I'm turning my back on powdered milk. I am now Kapuasu and acai. Mm -hmm. But I think Kapuasu, you can only find it in the northern region of uh -huh. Brazil. And our tapioca is here. Thank you. Obrigado. So, first time trying this. Uh, looking like a pancake. Yeah. But you're calling it tapioca. It's so it tapioca. comes from cassava flour. I think so. I think it's cassava. And I am, um, my filling is with camarón. Let's open this up. Yours is uh, camarón, which is shrimp, as well as cheese. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's full of stuff. And olives in there. Yeah. Muy tofón, Ivana. Eat good. it, eat it, eat it. 
good. <laughs> it's a bit it's like, like a. Crab. Uh, the texture is like crispy and it's kind of like taco, but mm, it's kind of like a, a mix between the soft and hard taco. Uh huh. And there is a little bit of that chewiness. You know, Pong the Keju has that bounciness. Oh, yeah, from the cassava. From the cassava, oh, bounciness texture. That it has that good. as well. That sounds it's good. It's so good. Try it. Try it. That sounds good. Mm, mm. Five stars. Nice. This is tapioca. Yeah. What is that? Cassava. I'm guessing it's from cassava flour. When I think of tapioca, I think of bubble tea. Yes, you're right. Is this the same thing? <laughs> I think it's from, they're both from cassava. Uh -huh. They're both from cassava, I, I believe. So it's quite bouncy. Like Yeah, right? A little bit bouncy. But it's crispy and bouncy at the same time. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, you got palmito. And inside I got palm heart. Which again, I don't really know what palm heart is either. But I know I like it's it. It's from a palm tree. The uh -huh. heart of the palm tree. The trees have heart too, you know? Mm. Look at this. It's really good. The texture is amazing. It's quite bouncy. Mm. And uh, cheese and palm heart. It's very good. Good? Uh-huh. Very good, no? Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. <laughs> Five stars. Very good food. I know. I can't believe this is the first time I'm trying it. Me too. Tapioca, man. Oh, it's really good. Bong, tapioca. I love it. Mm. Mm, Try very good food. Shrimp. Mm. Let me try this. I think it's very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Both good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wow, nice discovery. So it's just called tapioca. Yeah. Mm. Five star tapioca. Very good. It's kind of a mix of pong and keju, no, without the keju. Pong and keju it's and like pancake like a, and like a, uh, yeah, taco. Brazilian taco. Slash thing. pancake. And it's very good. Oh, it's a taco slash crepe. Brazilian taco slash crepe. Yeah. Mmm, very good. Yeah. Six stars. Mmm. This restaurant, although it's low, which I've heard, it's everywhere in Bahia. Although it's slow, it's worth the wait because yeah. the food is delicious. It's good. Central Strip, bunch of bars and live music around, and believe it or not, we have a whole crew of Romanians. So we'll introduce you to I Am Family, who have a really lovely YouTube channel, and we really recommend it because they're super friendly people, and right now they're doing daily vlogs. Yes. Which is a lot of work. So we'll meet them, and we've got a bunch of other Romanians here, and upon first impression, Ivana is describing this place as part Buzios and part Floripa. Yes. If you guys remember, Buzios was like incredibly bougie. We were calling it Buzios. <laughs> and Floripa was like a hippie vibe. Yeah. So this is a big, very well lit and very entertaining boardwalk. Looks quite safe and clean. And also got a good section of hippies. Lots of restaurants. Uh huh. Very cool looking restaurants, you know? Hip, very hip. Though. Yeah, trendy and sort of young people and old people alike enjoying the market. So let's go hunt for some food as well as uh, meet our new friends. Yo, guys, you guys gotta try this juice. Mille cacao. Muy bon. With vodka. Oh, with vodka. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I thought it was just milk cacao, but vodka, okay. <laughs> A pleasant surprise. Meal is honey. 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 Yeah. Cacao honey. Honey of cacao. Honey of cacao. Yeah, yeah. It's really tasty. Right. Thank you. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Sure. Oh. oh, you try it for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for you. So nice. 
Oh, mix? mix. This right. is uh, uh, guava. Frutas vermelha. Uh, Frutas vermelha. Strawberry. Oh, okay. Strawberry. Yeah. Hey, cheers. 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 Soji. <laughs> oh, muito bom. Yeah. Muito bom. Yeah. Wow, very good. Yeah. Where do you come from? Canada. 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 Yeah. Canada. <laughs> What's your name? Steve. Steve. Yeah. Paulo. Paulo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you? Ivana. Ivana. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Obrigado. Yeah, bye. Thank you. I'll tell you what, super nice guy. And our intention was just to get milde cacao, which is, like he said, honey of cacao. And yeah. it's so flavorful and it's oh, so good. This might be the best cocktail I've had in Brazil. With vodka in it, it's like heaven. Tell anyone. Maybe better than Capirinha. Yo! <laughs> milde cacao is like amazingly flavorful. Yes. A little bit of vodka in there, just nice. It's, it's so sweet, but the sweetness is like natural. Yeah. And a little bit sour. I mean, it's cacao, cacao honey. It's like cacao fruit, the fruit that makes chocolate. Uh -huh. And we are in a land of cacao here. Muito bom. Land of cacao. Here. That was a pleasant surprise. Okay. So good. I Muito bom. I want to take this home. I mean, like a jug of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I cannot tell you how good this drink is. Absolutely six star drink. Hey, Marios, come say hi to the vlog. Hi, man. Hi, community. Yeah, <laughs> community. Another Romanian. Man. Another Romanian. So, how long, how long you been living in Brazil? Man, I've been living now since uh, one year and one month. So, uh, so far, so good? Muito bom? I enjoy it. I also like got in a in a life project, let's say. So, maybe you will see. Yes, yes. Stay tuned to the vlog. We're gonna tour uh, Marios's eco farm. He's bought some land and he's farming. It's very interesting. So stay tuned to the vlog. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> We're going to have hamburger we for dinner. Hamburgers. I was telling them meat would be better, but uh -huh. hamburger will do. <laughs> nice. Place, no? And this whole street market's got tons of interesting yeah. restaurants, like you themed can... and sort of trendy restaurants. You, you can just sit inside or outside. Very cool. All right, so we're having trouble finding where to eat mm -hmm. because we got too many Romanians. Okay. Too many people. So problem with seatings. We got like ten people almost. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Food coming soon. You I'm getting very hungry. True, me too. <laughs> Yo, Ethan Pare is awesome. Yeah, I love True, it. Right? I love the five years. Five years, great. Right? Ethan Pare. Love it. Brazil has a lot to offer. True. They got beaches, they got good food, nice people, and they got Romanians. They got everything over here. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this restaurant is so cool, I kind of want to eat there, so cool. Yeah. Acai con cupuazu, mm. so this is the acai bowl you had earlier, Yeah. but in juice form. Yeah. Saoji, <laughs> norok? Good. Good. Uh, Kuku is very good with acai. Yeah. yeah. Good mix. It's a good mix. Umbu. Umbu. This is something new. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's green. What do you think it tastes like? For me, it tastes like guava. You like it? Your face is. It's okay. <laughs> it's new. I don't know what to make of it. It's like it's green. New. Coconut? <laughs> it's not a very strong flavor. It's kind of like a sheet of pork. By the way, guys, we settled for pokey. It's the only place at only place at a big table. Yes. <laughs> and actually, our friends are down there getting burgers. We split up. You guys like it? Yeah, very much. Like? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Their first Pokeball. Do you miss uh, Romanian food? Yes, I miss Romanian food. Yeah. Which one? Sarmale. Ah, Sarmale. Sarmale. Yeah. Yeah, I'm crazy about Sarmale, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. and, and sour cream. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, Chorba. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Chorba. Chorba. The British water. Yeah. And you've been in Brazil four years, right? Four years now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's enjoy our food. Let's see. Poptabuna. Poptabuna. Yes. <laughs> Second acai of the day. Is Very good acai. Capuazo? I definitely went for capuazo. Acai and capuazo and the powdered milk. And granola. This is the best. <laughs> is it good? This is this week's version of the best acai. <laughs> give me a bite. Give me a bite. The good bite. All of them. Hold on. Hold on. Into one. Hold on. Hold the bomb. Moito bong, you wanna. Mm. Very nice. Kapuasu, man. Mm. My new favorite fruit. Very nice. Very good. Mm. And listen, big shout out to Lavinia and Gabriel. Mm. Romanian hospitality beyond borders. Nice. It's one of these travel experiences where I feel so lucky. I'm like, how did this happen, you know? <laughs> to be in small town Brazil with some Romanians going around. I love this place. Feeling like a local. Yeah. With Romanians. Nice. Very nice. For the bomb. For the bomb, for the bun, for the bean. It's like sushi in a castrol. That's how it is. But it's very good. If you like sushi, it's very good. If you like sushi, it's very good. Santé. Woohoo!